So, uh, the idea behind uh, this session, we wanted to make actually 10 or 15 different sessions to teach you trading, but we are afraid that 10 or 15 sessions uh, will be way too long for people who will follow those lessons. So we have decided to shorten it into five different sessions. Uh, so first, uh, I will introduce our partners and sponsors. So it's Admiral Markets. It's a broker which is present in several countries all over the world, uh, including also Bulgaria. And they will be supporting us for all the different events that we're gonna do it. Uh, also, if you want to be assisted or if you intend to open a trading account, you can leave us your phone number and someone can call you and help you by creating your first trading account. It can be a demo account because you can trade with fake money to train or it can be with a real money account. Uh, Jarvis is also the, sp the sponsor. So it's an exchange where you will be able to trade cryptocurrencies, forex, stocks and so on. Okay, so uh, this is the plan for the next five weeks. So today, we're gonna start very lightly. We're gonna just explain you what is trading. And uh, I will be helped by Valo, Ilian, and Seva. We will divide the presentation among us. We are four different traders with different experience. We're gonna introduce ourselves after. And we're gonna explain you what is trading according to us today. So we'll not get into a lot of details. We will try to just explain you the psychology of trading, uh, how it works, and then the basics, uh, what is a strategy, an analysis, how to trade, and so on and so on. Then next week, we're gonna teach you how to analyze the market. So basically, how to recognize in which market condition we are, and what is the kind of market that we are facing right now. After that, we will study indicators and patterns. So indicators, you have to see them as tools which can help you to analyze better the market. Then uh, at the fourth event, we're gonna get more into practice and to see, okay, how we will trade. So basically, after knowing how to analyze the market, we will see how we can uh, um, uh, explode the analysis that we have done. So how we're gonna enter, exit, and manage a trade. So this will be basically, I think, the most interesting uh, lesson. And the last one will be maybe not the most exciting for everyone, it's risk management, but it's the most important. So let's start with uh, you, Ilian. Uh, hello everyone, thank you for coming today. Uh, first, uh, my name is Ilian, I am a coach and trader for DM Trading Bulgaria. And I would like to start, uh, as you can see, uh, with the topic trading is personal. Now, why is trading personal? Let's start, first start uh, that as a beginner, you usually go online, uh, start uh, typing like Forex or commodities or depending uh, in what you are interested. And uh, you find a lot of information, a lot of videos, a lot of articles, a lot of blogs explaining you how to trade, giving you strategies, promising that uh, you will be profitable with that strategies. But uh, speaking uh, from my past, basically, I'll give you the example. Uh, most of the strategies don't, might work from, for someone, but uh, don't work for uh, you. And as an example, I would like to give my start of my trading career. Uh, when I first started with Pascal a few years ago. Uh, just before we started, I've been reading a lot about Forex, uh, about strategies. I consumed a lot of information in just a month or two. So I developed a strategy. It was a simple one. Sorry. It was a simple one. Yeah, it's my first presentation, so excuse me, I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, however, I was, uh, where was I? Uh -huh. uh, I had a very simple strategy, basically. I won't go into details, but it was giving me uh, good results sometimes, then bad results, then good results again. And when I met Pascal, he became my mentor, and uh, we decided that he needs to teach me his strategy, as uh, his strategy was already profitable. It was proven uh, over his 10-year experience in trading, and uh, he decided that he would teach it to me. 
so I can be profitable as well. Uh, we sat, we talked, and then I started implementing it, but uh, I was, uh, how to say, I didn't expect what happened then. Uh, I saw that I was only losing with that strategy. I had some profitable trades, uh, but most of them were not covering my losses. So then we decided that I will go back to my previous strategy and just evolve from there. So I started again and up to this day, I am basically using my first strategy, although it doesn't look the same uh, because I evolved it, removed a lot of mistakes from it and I keep uh, telling people that you should uh, basically use your first, strat first strategy, usually that's a winning one, and just uh, evolve it uh, with practice, uh, with constantly trading, with analyzing your trades, and so on and so on. Uh, I can say that uh, here we are four traders and uh, all of us have uh, different ways of trading uh, and that's why uh, trading is so personal and I would like to give the word to one of my colleagues to explain uh, why trading is so important to him and how did he start it and of course uh, why his strategy is personal to him. So. Hello everyone, my name is Valentin. Uh, so first I started trading uh, back in 2010 I was uh, living in Vienna during that time, but uh, it was very boring for me there. So I decided to have to do something in my spare time. So I decided to enter into Czech Fund trading platform. I liked it. I decided that uh, probably this is uh, one of the things that I want to do uh, further in my life. That's why after this, I decided to focus all of my education uh, related to trading. Um, then I started uh, to my bachelor degree, which was oriented with uh, international finance and trade. Then I did my master, which was uh, investment and risk management. And after this, uh, I decided to actually start trading, which was uh, at the beginning as everyone, I started with Forex, but uh, I didn't like it uh, as such. Uh, it wasn't what I was expecting from the markets. Uh, and after this, I decided to find uh, what's more applicable for me and for my trading style. I started to develop my own strategy uh, then I uh, went to another firm. I started trading other products, which were a little bit, uh, they were like slowly moving. They are, if you want to take trade, you can, take, you can have your time. I decided this is uh, more applicable for my strategy. I was trading there for several years. And uh, then I met our mentor, Pascal. I started with uh, DM Trading in Bulgaria. I'm actually responsible for the part for commodities and indexes. It's more applicable for my trading style. And uh, now I can uh, pass the floor to my uh, colleague, Seva, who is going to explain you a little bit about himself. All right. Hello, everyone. <coughs> and basically, I was the first uh, so-called intern of uh, Ilian. He was teaching me. And you know, before, when I was a kid, I was like, yeah, trading market's amazing, but I have no idea what it is. And then I'm like, okay, this guy will teach me, even for free, amazing. Uh, but I also was a bit lazy student, so I'm like, why do I need to create my own strategy when I can just literally copy and paste his one? His one works, so why not do it for myself? I mean, it kind of worked, you know, 50-50, but at some point it's kind of went to 70% uh, losses, 30 wins, and even less and less and less and less. I mean, maybe it's because I was also not that, uh, didn't have that much experience in trading as well, but that's beside the point. So, uh, uh, thanks to Ilian, I understood, and he told me, like, all right, work on your strategy. You see that, you know, everyone needs to have his own. And uh, gave me the basics. He says, like, all right, this, you can do that, that, and that. I'm not going to go into details later because today is just a basic uh, <coughs> presentation. And over the course of a year, I <coughs> combined several tools and uh, indicators that I'm now using for the, mostly for the long-term trading as uh, I'm still in education sector and I still have job and I don't have that much, my, uh, that much time in general, but long-term trading is amazing for that. So that's, uh, that's what I do now. And I would like to give a word to Pascal to explain uh, how he tr trades. Okay, so to, to sum up, trading is personal because there is not a better way to trade, there is not good way, there is not bad way. 
uh, I will not target everyone, but if you want to be on a diet, there is some program that works for you and that doesn't work for someone else. So trading is the same. What you have to know is that it doesn't matter what we're going to teach you uh, over those five weeks. It doesn't mean that uh, you will become profitable, and it doesn't mean that because you follow someone who have a good strategy, that you will be a good trader. So this is actually the hardest thing about trading, is to find your own way. So the only things that you can do is to follow uh, principles, so all the things that actually we will teach you over the, the, the next four or five weeks. Uh, and then, based on that, you have to experiment, you have to practice, because again, everybody is different. I'm trading in a different way than those four guys, because my own experience or my own personality uh, has taught me that I have to trade in the way that is the most comfortable for me. So this was the most important things to, 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 to understand about trading. It's personal, so don't try to copy anyone, and that's all. Uh, then, about uh, responsibility. So, uh, Ilian, if you can tell us uh, how a trader has to, to don't avoid the responsibility about his losses and so on. Okay, so I first want to start with, uh, that, uh, with the sentence that psychology plays a big part in trading and in uh, creating your strategy and uh, becoming actually a successful trader. Uh, I know it's a boring topic, it's a boring topic sometimes for me, but it is the foundations uh, for you to become a successful trader. So, uh, first to say about life. Uh, ever since we are born, uh, there are certain norms about what is right and what is wrong that are applied. They are uh, hardwired into our brains, uh, from our parents, from our friends, from our social circles, uh, even from strangers. And uh, those norms, uh, we need them because uh, they help us uh, to function like a normal human being and be part of uh, all the social circles around us. Now, the Forex market, or actually any other market, is a bit different. It's like you're, you are reborn there. Uh, there are no norms. There is no right and wrong. The market is doing what it is supposed to do. And... Uh, here comes the topic about responsibility. In life, you have to take responsibility for your actions. Uh, but sometimes, uh, more often than not, we tend to uh, blame someone else or something else for our mistakes or for something we did. Uh, but on the market, you cannot do that. Uh, there is no one to blame but yourself. There is no one to criticize but yourself. So, uh, in order to trade successfully on the market, uh, you have to be able to take responsibility for your action, actions and uh, self, uh, to be able to self-criticism. Uh, now, uh, value, this is about psychology, I won't get uh, in too much depth because I'll bore you probably. Uh, so value will tell you a few things about the rules that you need to follow, the most basic psychological rules you need to follow in order to start building your trading career. Yeah, so now, when you start trading, you have some results at the beginning. So the most important thing is don't, do not get fooled by your results at the beginning. No matter if you're losing or you're uh, winning, you don't have to take conclusions from your results uh, that you're achieving just when you started, uh, because uh, they might be not correct. So don't jump into any conclusions at the beginning. First, you analyze what you're doing, see why you why you're winning or why you're losing, and then take a conclusion and see uh, what's going to leave for your uh, for the development as a trader and what you're going to exclude. After this, it comes. Uh, don't be afraid to lose. So. For example, in my opinion, and I think uh, all of us uh, here, all of my colleagues will agree, that uh, the loss uh, is not something bad. You have to take it as a lesson. Whenever you're losing money, there is a reason for this. First, you have to see if there is a pattern in your losses and to find it. When you find it, you can isolate, isol isolate it. And after this, when you fix the mistakes, the res your results will get better. Uh, it's very important to 
uh, be able to criticize yourself because in the end of the day, you're responsible for your own mistakes on the markets and uh, you have to fix them by your own again. The last thing is uh, when you're on the other side of the coin. You don't have to get overconfident. When you get overconfident, you have like very good results and this might bring you to lack of discipline. If you have lack of discipline, as uh, everything in life, the good period will end and whenever it ends, uh, this might suffer for you like uh, very bad losses. For example, uh, if you're overconfident and you forget to follow your main plan, uh, you might uh, forget where and how you need to shrink your positions and uh, when you stop, uh, have to stop trading, which could, as I said, uh, make for you very bad losses or even take you out from the business. Now, I think I'm uh, going to pass the word to my colleague Ilian again. Uh, first of all, I would ask if Pascal has anything to say about uh, additionally. Okay, so I can just add that yes, as Ilian has said, it's not like in life when you can blame someone else. You are responsible, that's all. You, you lose, you lose. You, it's be only because of you and not because of anyone. And one of the reasons why a lot of people are, are losing on, on trading is because they put the blame of someone else. So you have to learn to be more responsible. And on this aspect as well, uh, confidence is very good. It's, it's, it, actually in life, it's pretty good to be super confident. In trading, is the worst things that can happen to you. If you are losing, you should be happy because as Valo has said, a loss is a lesson. If you are not capable of taking uh, uh, out the lesson from this uh, loss, then you have to uh, maybe reconfigure the way you think. So actually be super happy to lose because it's a lesson and everybody likes to get lesson. And yet don't be too, too much confident. It's not because you are winning that you are a good trader. Actually, you can win for a few months and be a very bad trader. In the same case, you can lose for a few months but be a very good trader. I mean, maybe we will not speak about all our experiences, but here, and including myself, I have been through different periods when I was losing for maybe a few weeks, even sometimes one or two months. Doesn't make me a bad trader. It's just that my strategy was not working uh, by this time. Uh, for the changes, Ilian, if you want to go. Uh, yes. Uh, this is something that I learned uh, the hard way as well. Uh, usually beginners tend to make a lot of changes to their strategies. They pick up a strategy, they start uh, trading with it, uh, they accumulate one or two or five uh, losses and they decide that this strategy does not work. And they just decide to change it with another strategy. But this is like a cycle, you keep going and changing and changing and changing without actually getting more in depth in the strategy you're trying to implement on the market, which is a mistake because it's a never ending cycle and you keep losing uh, if you continue changing your strategy too many times. The uh, thing you need to do, usually uh, the first strategy you start with is the right one. Don't change it, just evolve it. Keep reading about it. Uh, keep a database of trades that is really important for every trader to have uh, images, pictures, a lot of information on each uh, trade you take. So you can go back and analyze those trades, find your mistakes and correct them so you can be profitable. So that's why you can just start with a very simple strategy, the first one that comes to, uh, to your mind basically and uh, the first one that you feel comfortable with because that's uh, one of the most important things and just evolve from there. Keep changing only some aspects of your strategy but keep the main, uh, how to say it, like a bubble. Uh, and I think uh, this is very important uh, for every trader to understand because you lose a lot of precious time if you continue changing your strategy. I have lost a lot of precious time. Uh, because I changed my strategy a few times and in the end I just went back to my first strategy and just evolved it from there. Yeah, the bad thing with trading is that actually uh, you can change your strategy every day because you see that for the last week it doesn't work and you can find a way how it could have uh, worked better. 
So you can end up in a, uh, how to say, in a circle where you only change and only change and you are satisfied for a few weeks. Oh, super, I start to win. But then you start to lose and you say, oh, maybe I, would have, I should have done this way and this, it's, it, it's endless. I have spent four years before to, to, to start to be profitable. I'm trading for 11 years now, so I just know how to trade basically or didn't change for seven years. But I spent four years by changing almost every two or three or five weeks. So it, it, the thing is that you have to, to be persistent. Uh, of course, if you trade in a very bad way and if you do all the mistakes possible, you have to change. But uh, it's better to, to focus on what you have, to accept your losses as soon as you can bear them, and then to keep evolve, uh, as you said. Emotion? Varo? Yeah, so this is uh, another topic of mine. So here, uh, when you start trading, as I said, you're gonna have some losses. So the first thing that you have to do is not to continue trading in order to recover your losses, but to continue follow your plan. Because as soon as you start uh, trading in order to uh, gain again what you have lost, this is affects your decision making, which is basically emotions. And uh, this is going to lead you to another cycle where you're going to start losing money. And in the end of the day, the result might be very bad. So basically, what's about the emotions? You have to try to avoid them. Uh, you have to take your decision making in order of what you see and not, and not what you feel. And you have to keep with your initial plan. You don't have to affect, uh, you don't have to leave the emotions to affect your decision making. For example, if the trade goes very good, you have to uh, keep your initial plan, not to say, mm, here I might lose money if I continue falling or something else. You just follow your plan and execute it. Or the other way, if it goes wrong and you're losing money, but it's still there is a place for the place to develop, you don't have to take fresh actions and to close it, but you have, you, it's, most of the time, it's better for you to wait and uh, then to see what's going to happen. Because that's why, as a manager, you leave a uh, place for your place or for your trade to develop and then to see what's going to happen. And of course, the most important thing here is never to do a revenge trading. Because uh, the, the, main, the main reason for you to, to lose money in a certain sector or certain security it might be that you don't understand it as such as good. So if you continue trading a given security in order to win what you have lost there, this might again cause you another big losses because at the end of the day, you just don't know what you're doing there and it's not applicable for your strategy. Now I'm going to pass the word to Pascal. This is uh, the funnier part. So the mistake that a lot of uh, traders are doing that they start to trade without uh, any kind of knowledge. When I mean knowledge, I don't mean uh, to know how to trade. Actually, you need a pretty uh, lot of information. You need to know how markets are uh, moving, how financial sector is working. You need to know about uh, brokers. I mean, you need to know a lot about a lot of things before to start trading. And a lot of people who are losing, actually it's because they just start without uh, the basic uh, knowledge. But the, it's very tricky because there is a, a downside uh, of uh, accumulating too much knowledge. It's called the Pareto law. You know, when we say that 20% of the people in the world uh, control 80% of the wealth. So here it's the same. Basically, 80% of what you can read about trading is just bullshit. It's full of gurus or guys who has stupid theory or, or thing. I mean, trust me, trading is where there is most of the scammers with a casino and so on and so on. And, and most of the most stupid things that you can read ever for your entire life. Like all, every, everything that starts with fury, it's bullshit. It doesn't work, or if it works, we're gonna show you next week uh, that it's just by hazard. But uh, you don't need to, le to learn too much, you just need to learn the 20% that are the most important. Uh, and knowledge before the logic. Trading actually, it's ultra logic. You don't need uh, to be smart, you just need to be logic. There is a big difference between the two. So, doesn't matter what you think you know, you should always put your logic, so your common sense, before. Because trading is very actually, um, how to say, it's not an emotional work, but you have to follow sometimes your instincts, and the instinct actually has a big part in your success, and it comes with the logic. So, again, you're gonna see later on what we mean uh, by this kind of thing. Uh, gambling. Okay, I don't know why you gave me this topic. Because you're a gambler. 
I mean, you start with with poker, right? So yeah. Uh, so <laughs> I I forgot to mention that I started with poker a lot of years ago uh, before I moved on to trading. Uh, poker was not such a successful endeavor like trading, uh, <laughs> but I was mainly playing as a hobby. I was never a professional, so uh, the main thing here is that uh, obviously gambling was part of my most of my adult life, of course. Uh, but there is a very uh, big difference between gambling in its purest form and uh, trading or even poker. If, uh, has anyone played poker here? Okay, so you know that it is more of a game uh, where you have to be a good mathematician and uh, uh, to think, uh, again, logically and to uh, basically, um, how to say it, to uh, psychologically evaluate your opponents. So it's not just gambling. Uh, most of the people that uh, get involved with trading at the beginning, uh, they consider it as gambling, which is a very wrong approach. Because, uh, of course, you can just go and open some positions on the market and hope you win. It's not a problem if that is your choice. And if that's how you want to spend your money, uh, I suggest you to give it to me if you are going to spend it like that. I'll go on vacation. Pascal, I'm having a few days off, just to let you know. Uh, so, uh, the idea is that uh, you can have an edge over the market uh, by using all the things we are going to talk about uh, in the next presentations. You can gain uh, an edge over the market and you can uh, continue being profitable in the long run. Uh, that way, trading uh, is different from gambling. If you want to be a successful trader, you have to find that edge over the market. Now, again, as I said, if you uh, sometimes feel like gambling, you like to gamble from time to time, uh, you can always do uh, something like that. For example, you have won some money this month with uh, your edge, with your strategy. You decide to take part of that money and reinvest them, but to gamble with them, to have some fun on the market. You can just open a chart and uh, for example, you have 100 euro, you can open 10 trades each uh, with 10 euro anywhere you like. And if you're lucky, you will uh, have more money at the end. If you're not, you will lose 100 euro, but you won't lose uh, the profits you worked hard uh, to gain throughout the month. Yeah, and actually, it's, it's, it, you, you should also apply these things for anything in your life. Investments, might be cryptocurrencies, it might be stocks. If you want to take risk, just do it. Actually, if you don't take risk, you're not a real trader, but do it in a smart way. So if you have one money, take 10%, 20%, and just have fun. There is no wrong things about it. And actually, it's good because you can expulse your pulsion. Because sometimes you really want to trade, or you want to do a crazy, stupid thing. So just do it. But just do it when you can allow to lose this uh, money. So basically, be like that guy. <laughs> 